and I, it forced me to look at my own life and I realized I can't be leading these girls if I'm not living out what I'm telling them. So um, I was forced to, in that leadership position, to change my life. And so in August, we took the high schoolers on a houseboat trip. And during that week, I was really awakened to the fact that I was harboring a lot of guilt about past decisions. And um, I realized that with God, that I could be released from that and I didn't have to carry that around. And with God, there's grace and compassion and unconditional love. And I didn't need to feel that way any longer. So that trip, the hospital trip, was huge for me as well as the kids. Um, and then a, literally a week after we got back, Sally Ellis approached me and asked me if I wanted to be in her discipleship group that um, meets weekly and goes over the basics of Christianity and our faith, and um, we really learn how to know God personally. So in that group, um, in October, on October 10th, I prayed to I prayed with all of them at her at kitchen table to um, give my life to God, and I can absolutely my life has changed so much from that moment. Um, on February, in February, we took the high schoolers to Belize, as a lot of them talked about, and God just completely moved in all of our hearts so 